In projectile motion, acceleration is constant, so we use this fact to our advantage. Using the fact that acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity over change in time, and using the fact that displacement is average velocity, which is initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 times time, we can derive a bunch of equations for any situation. For example, say I drop a ball and I want to know how long it takes. I know a bunch of stuff, but not its final velocity. So we can use this equation to figure it out. Take the ball dropping earlier, plug in the correct numbers using the correct units, and algebraically we can solve the time. The law of conservation of energy states that the initial energy equals the final energy when Alex travels down the hill with the longboard. That is equation 1. Equation 2 is the extended version of the first, and the third is the extended extended version. The fourth equation includes the mass, height, and the initial velocity equal to the exact equation since energy does not change throughout his travel. It is conserved because energy cannot be destroyed. The law of conservation of momentum states that for a collision occurring between two objects, the total momentum of the two objects during a collision is equal to the total, of the total momentum of the two objects after the collision. In the first two clips, we see how the momentum lost from object 1, or Andrew, is equivalent to the momentum gained by object 2, or me. In these two cases, it is an example of elastic collision. The third clip is an example of another elastic collision where the energy from Andrew is transferred into the car, it explodes, and it reflects back into Andrew causing him to fall. <laughs> 